friends, we are here today to make tiramisu and that is one of our most famous desserts. So we're going to do it for uh, dinner with friends. I have been asked to bring tiramisu so that's going to be today's recipe. For a tiramisu you need 16 ounces of mascarpone, 6 eggs, 6 tablespoons of sugar, a couple good pinches of salt, cold espresso, Italian lady fingers, and then I'm still old school so I'm gonna use a hand mixer. Um, one of the most important things, eggs should be at room temperature because we need to whisk them and if they're at room temperature it makes it quicker and easier. So I'm gonna move everything onto my table and we'll be back in a couple seconds. So here we are uh, first thing we're going to do is to divide egg whites and yolks. And one. Make sure no part of your yolks ends up in the whites so because otherwise you're not going to be able to whisk them. And possibly no parts of the eggshell either. Two. Oops. I forgot to mention that I am using large eggs just so you have an idea. Three, four. Five. And six. Then we're going to put all the sugar in the yolks and a cup of good pinches of salt in the egg whites. You won't taste the salt pretty much hardly at all, but it'll help you whisking your egg whites. First thing we do, we are going to... We're going to whisk our egg yolks until they become pale yellow. It should take probably not longer than a couple of minutes. Okay, so see how light yellow is it? Then we add all our mascarpone. And two. It's going to be a quite noisy recipe this time, but if we want to have a good mascarpone, we need to have a little bit of noise here. So, okay. So, we first break it down a little bit and then we'll whisk again until it's perfectly incorporated. from the whisks and then I will be 
I'll wash my whisks and be back to you in two seconds. So, we added the salt to the egg whites. Um, when you deal with egg whites and you have to whisk them, everything has to be perfectly clean, otherwise they won't hold the pigs. Um, I'm going to whisk them until when you flip your bowl over, the whites will not fall. So... Here we go. See? It doesn't fall. Now, we won't need this anymore. Yeah. We will add a couple of tablespoon of the egg whites to the cream just to lighten it up a little. And then we'll add all the other ones. Remember that when you add the egg yolks, the egg whites, you always have to mix and fold them in by mixing upside down, never with circular movements. Now, remember when you whisk the egg whites, they increase their volume, so always get a big bowl. The bigger, the better, so you won't risk overflowing. And now, very slowly and gently fold all the egg whites in. You can, if you want, you can make more tiramisu than you need and freeze it for later use. It's always helpful to have a tiramisu ready in your freezer. You never know when it can come handy. So, okay. And we are done. So now, give me just a sec, I'll bring over everything that we need to get the tiramisu going and we'll start making it. Just a couple seconds. So, we are going to quickly dip our lady fingers in the coffee and then lay them on the bottom of the container. Now this is one that I need to take with me. Um, if you like to use any kind of liquor, always add it to the coffee. That will um, basically give the flavor you want, but not water down your cream. So. Quickly dip your lady fingers. So, with bed all our lady fingers on the bottom. Spoon your cream on top of the lady fingers. It, will, it is a very dense cream, so you don't really need super much. And spread it out. Just with some 
cocoa powder. I use, oops, way too much. I use unsweetened cocoa powder. There's enough sugar in the cream and in the lady fingers to use sweetened one. So, and repeat for another layer. So we'll be back as soon as I'm done. So, here's our tiramisu. I'm sorry, I'm a messy chef. Something you have to remember about the tiramisu is you always have to prepare it the day before. If you will, if you prepare it the same day that you're gonna eat it, Ladyfingers will not have the time to absorb all the flavors and they will result dry. So remember always make it the day before and refrigerate until you bring it over or you're serving it. So we are done for, the, for today's recipe and I hope to see you soon for another recipe. Have a happy holidays everybody. Yeah.